you know, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of oxytocin and love and love and love and love, but nobody actually does anything. We know people like this. They're, you know, you sometimes see uh, artists like this. They're good people. They want to do good. All they want to do is help people, and they're always helping people, and they're so good, but they really don't accomplish anything in their own lives, and they don't really have any goals, and they don't really set any targets, and they actually don't have feelings of self-worth, even though they're these good people filled with love for everybody, you know? And then the opposite is true. You have these guys that just bite accomplishment, 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 get out of my way, get out of my way, I don't need you, accomplishment, accomplishment. They may get a lot done, but they're not happy people, and nobody really likes them. You know, I know a guy who's extremely wealthy, I mean extremely wealthy, and very unhappy. He's just not a nice guy. He's not, he doesn't treat people well, and he's not a happy guy, you know? And um, we were, a few of us were at one of his places, beautiful place, and he wasn't there, and we were talking about it, and I said how sad it was that he's made so many bad decisions in his life, that he's such an unhappy guy. And the folks I was with said, well, he's doing something right. And I thought to myself, does that mean someone who's making 50 grand a year and loves their life is doing something wrong? You know, why is it that we think that because someone is extremely wealthy and extremely unhappy, that, quote, they must be doing something right? I would say they've completely got the whole thing wrong, because you can have both, you know? But, but he only has one, and that's kind of sad. 